I am Dr. Asak Sarvagi. Today we are going to discuss about blood banking. It is a very high yield topic. Uh, so, uh, American Critical Cure System. Uh, in blood banking, uh, the blood preservatives are very uh, important. So, to remember that we have American Critical Cure System protocol or mnemonic. Uh, that is ACCS. And from A, uh, ACD, acidified cited dextrose is the preservative medium in ACD. And from C, we have CPD, cited phosphate dextrose is the preservative. And another is CPDA, cited phosphate dextrose adenine is the preservative. And another is SAGMs. Uh, here, saline, adenine, uh, glucose, and mannitol is the preservative. Uh, so, uh, let's uh, start. Uh, the ACD, uh, the lifespan of whole blood and RBC in ACD medium, ACD medium is 21 days. And in CPD, 8, 7, 28 days. And in uh, CPDA, 8, 7, that is 35 days. And in SSM, 8, 7, that is 42 days. So, uh, ACCS, 21, 28, uh, 35, 42 is the mnemonic. Uh, now, Regarding uh, why the citrate, dextrose, uh, phosphate, uh, adenine, uh, saline are uh, present uh, in the preservatives, uh, the citrate uh, and uh, mannitol in the preservatives helps in maintaining the membrane stability of RBC so that hemolysis does not occur. Similarly, uh, the dextrose and uh, glucose uh, is there for providing energy to the RBC via uh, glycolysis. Similarly, uh, the phosphate and adenine is there for the supply of ATP. And saline is for the uh, maintaining the normal osmolarity uh, of the uh, environment uh, so that hemolysis does not occur. So in SAGM, there is everything is available there. Normal saline is there to maintain the osmolarity of the medium. And then is there for providing the ATP. Glucose is there for providing energy source. And mannitol is there for maintaining the membrane stability. Therefore, uh, this preservative has the highest, um, maintains the highest lifespan of RBC or whole blood that is for 42 days. This is very important. So. Uh, this is for uh, life uh, up to when the blood cells can be used or back, or the uh, blood can be transfused after uh, after putting in bag so for whole blood and pack cell it is 42 days maximum if, if the medium if the preservative medium is SAGM uh, for platelets uh, at the rate penta pp penta is equal to five days because the uh, half life of platelet is five days uh, so on the platelet will die after five days for fresh frozen plasma uh, since it is fresh and since it is frozen uh, and since it is plasma and no any blood cell uh, the life is very long that is one year and similarly from for cryo precipitate Cryoprecipitate is nothing but uh, it is in fresh frozen plasma, all clotting factors will be there. Uh, um, but in cryoprecipitate, selective clotting factors will be there, like factor 8, bonolivirin factor, fibrinogen will be there. And they will be present in very high concentrated concentrate. Uh, it is said that only about 40% of fresh frozen plasma component will be there, but the concentration is very high in cryoprecipitate. It is also one year. So, uh, we, we store uh, the blood bag in freeze refrigerator and uh, within 30 minutes of removing the bag from refrigerator transfusion should start and transfusion should finish should finish within four hours of start So, there is one topic called massive transfusion. Massive uh, definition of massive tra transfusion is whole blood in one day or one main blood in one day. It is, it is easy to remember uh, by one main blood in one day or more than 50% of whole blood within. Two hours 
is called asymptotic transmission. Uh, in adult, blood volume is equal to blood volume is equal to 70 ml per kg. Uh, since uh, the uh, adult body weight is also around 70 kg, so it is very easy to remember. Uh, metabolic uh, abnormalities. Uh, it was let's first discuss adverse drug reaction. Adverse uh, reactions during transfusion. Uh, non hemolytic febrile reactions are the most common uh, drug reactions uh, during transfusion. And other are uh, hemolytic reactions. In hemolytic reactions, uh, acute uh, hemolytic reaction and uh, delayed hemolytic reaction is there. Acute hemolytic reaction occurs within 24 hours and delayed hemolytic reaction occurs more than 24 hours to 14 days. <coughs> Similarly, thrombocytopenia may be there and uh, thrombocytopenia and dilutional coagulopathy may also be there. Similarly, uh, uh, anaphylactic reaction will be there, uh, and this is very serious uh, life-threatening reaction. Uh, we have to take care of. Similarly, TRA ALI transfusion associated acute lung injury will be there. Uh, this is the most common cause of morbidity and mortality due to transfusion. And in metabolic abnormalities. Most metabolic abnormalities are due to the um, preservative component. For example, uh, hyperglycemia will be there, but due to dextrose or uh, glucose in the preservative medium, but uh, this will cause hyperinsulinemia and uh, then it will cause hypoglycemia. And in common, uh, commonly, hypoglycemia is more common than hyperglycemia in general. Similarly, uh, uh, hypocalcemia will be there because citrate and phosphate uh, will form calcium salts and the calcium will be consumed and therefore hypocalcemia will be caused. Uh, similarly, just like hypocalcemia, uh, magnesium salts may be formed and magnesium will be consumed and hypomagnesemia also may occur. Hypo or hyperkalemia both can occur. Uh, hypokalemia is uh, due to the um, uh, acidosis part, metabolic acidosis part, uh, the hypokalemia, uh, sorry, hyperkalemia is due to the metabolic acidosis part and hypokalemia is due to the metabolic alkalosis part. The citrate will lead to metabolic alkalosis and this will lead to hypokalemia, which is more common than hyperkalemia. <coughs> and due to anaerobic gly glycolysis, uh, metabolic acidosis may be there and that cause hyperkalemia. And also due to hemolysis, uh, the um, uh, acidic components of the cell may leak out and may cause hyperkalemia and and also the potassium are um, they are within the cell uh, rich in uh, rich within the cell they may uh, get released uh, outside after the lysis uh, 